I've always been fascinated by the idea of minimalism. You do more with less and that pleases the side of me that wants to make this world a little more sustainable. And as well, it saves money. <laughs> However, no matter how much I like the idea of it, if you take a quick look or a deep look into my life, you will soon realize that I don't really embody any of this. For example, I have 14 pairs of shoes, 50 plus different shirts, 5 pairs of jeans, and many more things. All of these do not speak minimalism. I could probably blame it on my parents. I mean, if you take a quick look at them, they barely like to get rid of stuff. Whenever I try to suggest to, you know, get rid of this extra couch that we don't need, I would probably get hit with, you never know when you need it. And that was when I was lucky. If they were on this spicy mood, I would probably get hit with, did you pay for it? Or do you think this was free? However, we are improvement gang and self-improvement requires change. Either it may be genetic or self-inflicted, I must be able to push through any of my setbacks. And well, to get to the point of it, I did not know how to start the idea of minimalism. I thought I had to go through the extreme of, you know what, I probably just need one pair of jeans, seven shirts, three pairs of shoes, one earbud, one pillow, one blanket. That was until I stumbled a video from Matt Diavella where he explains that he wears the same shirt every day. And at first, I took it literal and I thought that I was gonna see some weird stuff coming from this guy. But it was a total opposite. You see, the concept explained in his video was very simple. You buy multiples of a shirt that you like and can be worn with various styles. And the expected result from this is saving time in the decision making process in the wardrobe department. And after watching this video, I went to my local Kohl's to go get myself a pack of shirts. And of course, I got size small because I wanted to embody the style of Matt Duvela with showing off your muscles. But one thing that I did change was the colors. I got blue, red, gray, and green. Why did I not stay with the same colored shirts as he did in his video and in his experience of minimalism? Well, simply, I just thought it was gonna be a little too boring for my style, and I just wanted to change things up. And so after wearing the same shirts here and there for quite a bit, I realized it was actually pretty cool. It made me look bigger due to the tight fits on the shirts, and well, it gave me a little boost of confidence. However, this lasted only for about a month because after this month, I got tired of them. The main issue was that they were a little too tight on me and well, it was such a hassle to put them on. And because the benefits did not outweigh the cost, I decided to stop and revert back to wearing comfortable shirts. And I also realized that due to the goal of reducing time in the wardrobe, I was actually doing the opposite by choosing to have many different colored shirts. And so it was only for special occasions that I would wear these shirts because it gave me a little bit of boost in my confidence. But you see, this was not the idea behind minimalism and well, I had failed. It was until the month of September when I decided to take another shot at this minimalism shirt type of thing. For one, I had kind of run out of ideas and anything would do at this moment. But during this extensive brainstorming idea generation workshop type of thing, and I remembered I had not made a video about the minimalistic shirt experience. And so I okayed the order and started this shirt minimalism once again, but this time I was going to do it right. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt, but if you have an idea that you would like me to try, comment down below. Okay, let's go back. And I was not going to wear the same shirts as I did before because of the two things. I just didn't want to wear them and it took away from the idea of saving time in the wardrobe. And so I went out and bought some new ones. This time I got the medium size and only two colors, black and gray. And if I say so myself, I feel pretty good because everything seemed to be really calculated. But once I tried them on, I was a little bit conflicted. You see, when I put the shirts on, I realized that medium was just a little too big for me as well. Oh, the luck that I had. 
But you know, I said, F it. I'ma just give it a try. This is an experiment and man, I already got the shirts. And so for a whole week, I have been wearing these shirts every single day. And yes, I was wearing them even if I thought that they were a little too big on me. I also realized that in reality, these shirts aren't really that big for me to not be wearing them. In the beginning, I thought I was gonna look smaller because I was wearing a big shirt and I was just not going to look very good. But you see, the difference was not very much, and so after putting them on and seeing myself on the mirror a couple of times here and there, I realized, Ow. no, I actually look pretty good, and as well, it did not make me look small, it actually made me look a little bit bigger. My guess as of why I look a little bit bigger instead of smaller, I took my inspiration from cats and birds. You know the whole idea where they puff up, you know, their feathers or fur, and then they start to try and look big whenever trouble comes in? And so the human equivalent is just simply wearing a bigger shirt and you look a little bit bigger but looks was not the only thing making me like this experiment the other reason is that they are extremely comfortable since they're a little bit loose I can wear them every day and I will not have any hesitation to put them on unlike the other tight shirts I will say though that the only problem I think I will have with this whole minimalism thing is that I will have to be completely accurate with my laundry you see, I only have shirts for one week, and well, if I miss, yikes, I'm gonna be in some type of trouble. And the worst part is that I'm not the best at remembering a lot of the things, and remembering to do my laundry, put it back up, and you know, the whole spiel. No worries though, I have solved this issue. If you struggle with remembering to do things, I recommend you watch this video right here. Either way, improve my gang, stay sharp, and I will see you on the next one.